Hey, what is going on guys? It's Paula one and today you are watching something absolutely ridiculous and You probably didn't believe it the first time you read the title But I'm here to let you guys know that this is happening This is legit and you are watching exactly what's in the title and you guys I'm sure are going to enjoy this gameplay. So yes, you are watching a double s and R chem strike and you're probably thinking this isn't even possible Apollo come on that you know that this is impossible but it in fact is it is the world's first there have been multiple solo even solo double moabs as well as double moabs and whatever on search and rescue from previous call of duties and uh, i'm not sure if there's been a double nuclear and uh search and destroy from black ops so i don't believe there was but i know there's been tons of them in modern warfare 3 and finally one has been achieved in call of duty ghost on search and Res rescue not search and destroy yet but search and rescue pretty much the same thing and we're going to talk a little bit about a few things that happen. So first off, guys, Search and Rescue is a little bit different from Search and Destroy. As you guys know, Search and Destroy got removed from Call of Duty Ghost at the beginning. And there was a lot of people complaining at the start of Call of Duty Ghost. So they brought it back. That was actually really good that they brought it back because I just they just, just took too much from what Call of Duty was. Demolition, Capture the Flag, uh, a lot of people wanted Hardpoint back. They just took a lot of original game modes and game modes that people really enjoyed and they removed them, including Search and Destroy. So they, luckily they brought that one back, uh, but they kept Search and Rescue. And basically what Search and Rescue is, is it's a mixture of Search and Destroy and Kill Confirmed. And basically how this game mode works is once you kill an enemy, they drop a um, tag. They drop a little tag that you can pick up. And if you pick that up, it eliminates them from that round. They cannot respawn. But if a teammate picks up their tag, then they can respawn again. They get another life. As you can see, it says denied kill. So basically what Carnage Buffalo did, and a lot of, I didn't even know that this, this would happen. A lot of people did this, that basically what he would do is he wouldn't collect the tags that he killed. Like when he killed someone, he wouldn't collect the tag so they could respawn. And what happens is in, in Search and Rescue, a lot, you'll, every, practically every single game that you come up in Search and, that comes up in Search and Rescue, especially on DLC, will be against trick shotters every single time. And basically what's, this, this, I learned this literally yesterday, and then I went into the game to try this out myself to see if this was like, this is literally how it works. I had no idea, because I'm not too, too familiar with the trick shotting and sniping community. Uh, just a little bit from AK sniping, but not really the trick shotting. Um, community and what they do but basically how it works is what trick shotters do is they come into search and rescue and they try to you know they all want to hit feeds on the new map so what they do is or not feeds I guess trick shots is what it's called but they all want to hit a shot on the new maps and what they do is they wait until there's one last guy left so that they can get that final kill cam they can get that little uh, the kill cam shot like in the kill cam or whatever it's called um, and what they do is they don't kill you. They, they'll they just literally trick shot you over and over and over until they hit that shot. They will not kill you. They will literally run right by you. And you guys can go try this for yourselves right now. You can literally go into Search and Rescue, especially on DLC, and you'll find that this is exactly the case. They will run right by you. And if you don't kill them, if you don't kill them at all, they will not touch you. They will not touch you. can just rush out there, go on the top of the building, and just destroy these guys because they will not touch you. And basically... What Buffalo did is that, it, well, he did exactly that, but he did not pick up any of the tags. And sometimes, you know, he'd pick up one, but he would, for the most part, he wouldn't pick up any of the tags. The and what this allowed to happen is the enemy, or the enemies would pick up their teammates' tags and they'd respawn. They'd get another life. So he'd be able to get more kills. And I think this is really, like, genius. I thought this was, like, really smart, a good way to kind of, it, I just thought it was really interesting because I've literally never heard of this before and I, I, I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys haven't heard of this before so I, I want to make it clear and make sure to um, make like have you guys understand what's going on and how he actually got this. And there he picks up the first chem strike and um, basically he just lets them respawn, the enemies pick up the tags so they respawn and he can get more kills and I thought that was really cool. So that's basically how this gameplay was achieved. It's just trick shotters that try to get a, a shot on the last kill uh, of the game and now, this gameplay isn't 100% skill. We understand that they were trick shotters, they weren't really trying, and we understand that. It's not really that skill-based of a game. Now, it's not an easy thing to get, but there's a lot of luck involved in this. There's no doubt. Uh, first off, you have to get a game against a full team of trick shotters, which isn't too hard to get. Like I said, guys, go into Search and Rescue right now if you don't believe me. Try it yourself. I guarantee what will happen to you. First or second game on, you'll be against a bunch of trick shotters. And just have all your friends die, and you'll be able to see that they will literally just try to trick shot you. They, you don't even like, don't, don't worry. Just hide in a corner and let them 
try to hit you and they'll they won't like it's gonna take them a long time to hit a, a shot on you that's that's really bad luck if they actually hit a shot on you but uh you'll be able to just go crazy on them you'll just destroy them and i just want to make sure that's clear to you guys but um basically the luck part of this gameplay was that Cruz and buffalo were the only guys on this team so yes he's not playing 100 percent solo it's not a solo double chem strike or solo double snr chem strike um he is playing with another carnage member carnage Cruz, but Basically, what Cruz would do is, once he realized that he was getting all these, these on these streaks, he would just, in the start of the beginning of the round, he would just go out and die so that they wouldn't kill Buffalo. They would just try to sh trick shot him, and then he would just keep, you know, just destroying them, and he would let them pick up the tags, uh, which I thought that, that was really cool. That was some good teamwork between Cruz and Buffalo there, but, um, yeah, I just thought I'd say that. But the luck part of that was that nobody else joined their game. Nobody else was on their team for a good amount of time, actually the entire game. I don't know if that's just, you know, the bad host of Call of Duty, or I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the DLC, but um, that was pretty lucky there. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to go check out Carnage Buffalo's channel, though. He's got double chem strikes. He has, like, 19 solo double chem strikes, like, I think, like, 24, 23 double chem strikes in total. He's got fast chem strikes, gold, chem stri gold gun chem strikes. He's got everything, guys. I can't stress it enough. And after achieving a gameplay like this... Um, I mean, come on, just gotta go see what this guy is doing. He's gonna get so many more unique gameplays in the future, you don't wanna miss it. So, uh, please, please, guys, right now, scroll down to the description, it says player, go to the link, it says a Randy Buffalo, click it, go over to his channel, see what he's got, make the decision, should I subscribe or should I not, which I guarantee you'll say I should subscribe right now, because he's crazy good, and, um, yeah. So make sure to go over to his channel, check him out, subscribe, he's a great guy, and uh, let's try to get him... See if 250 or more of you guys can go over to his channel. I think that's easy. I, I know you guys will really enjoy his channel, so uh, I can see that easily happening. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let's see if we can hit 500 likes on this video. I think that's pretty... That's going to be pretty easy for this video. That's, uh... I mean, it's a, it's a good goal. I think we're setting ourselves a good goal with 500 likes. If we don't hit it, that's completely all right. That's 100% fine. At least we tried. But uh, I think we should always set ourselves goals on... On the videos 500 I think is a good number for this video see if we can hit it that'd be really cool and uh, yeah right here is the end of the gameplay it's finishing up and uh, he does get 59 kills 59 kills in search and rescue as well which obviously wouldn't be possible if it was, it was if it was against or with if he was with a full team I'm like stuttering my bad uh, but if he was with a full team of, of just other guys that he didn't know on his team and stuff then um, it wouldn't have been possible so Cruz and Buffalo are really lucky nobody else joined because I don't think this gameplay would be possible if there was just another four randoms on his team because they obviously wouldn't be communicating with them or anything. So, um, you know, that's just that's just luck. That just it happens, I guess, sometimes. So the full gameplay, I know this gameplay was cropped down a little bit. The full entire gameplay will be in the description below if you guys are curious. You want to watch the entire thing. There's a, a few little funny things. The snipers actually sent him messages because they leave here at the end. And they, like, send him messages saying, you aren't good and stuff like that. So if you're curious and watching the full gameplay, it will be in the description below below make sure to go check out carnage buffalo's channel let's try to hit 500 likes on this video hopefully you guys did enjoy this gameplay something unique something entertaining something a, just a little bit different that you guys haven't seen anywhere else that's pretty much it that's been my time and i will see you guys later